हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू बी फार्मा वाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एज आई डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑक्सीजन ओनली अंडरगोज एस पी थ्री एंड एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इट डज नॉट अंडरगो एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन लेट्स फाइंड आउट वाई सो एज ऑब्वियस वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो ऑक्सीजन वी नोट द एटोमिक नंबर इज एट सो द कॉन्फिग्रेशन विल बी वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी फोर सो इफ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द ब्लॉक डायग्राम इट विल बी वन एस टू देन टू एस टू एंड टू पी एक्स टू पी वाई टू पी जेड लाइक दिस एंड फोर मीन्स वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन now focus on the outermost shell which is the valency shell so this is the valency shell and you can see the configuration of valency shell where in 2s and 2px there are already two completely filled orbitals means two two electrons are already present so anyways these two orbitals will not be contributing anything towards bond formation who is going to form the bonds then only these two now let's talk about hybridization here when we are talking about sp3 hybridization will be taking everything together 1 2s and 3 of the 2p so they will be combining to form sp3 hybrid orbitals with equal energy and equal shape to form sp3 hybrid orbitals and the configuration will be like this so one of the 2s and three of the 2p they combine together and they form these sp3 hybrid orbitals now in these sp3 hybrid orbitals as you can see already two of the orbitals are completely filled which we call as lone pairs that is why we always show oxygen with two bonds and two lone pairs like this now are you getting it why we show these two lone pairs because when oxygen is in sp3 hybridized state it has two lone pairs with it so anyways now let's discuss one molecule in which oxygen is in its sp3 hybridized state so who will be better than our water molecule so what is the structure of water h o h this is the structure of water molecule now uh, not only water even in ethers oxygen is uh, in sp3 hybrid or hybridization state in alcohols oxygen is in its sp3 hybridized state so whenever oxygen forms two other bonds with two other atoms it is in its sp3 hybridized state so for uh, the sake of example i am taking water here so you can see oxygen is forming two bonds with two other atoms so oxygen is in its sp3 hybridized state so there are four sp3 hybrid orbitals so obviously the geometry is going to be regular tetrahedral geometry so what is the regular tetrahedral geometry like this hmm and for carbon the regular tetrahedral geometry will lead to the bond angle of 109.5 degrees ha huh? for carbon then for uh, nitrogen the bond angle will be 107 degrees but for oxygen the bond angle is 104 degrees now why this is happening because in carbon there is no lone pair in nitrogen there is one lone pair which is pushing these bond pairs down and so reducing the bond angle now in oxygen there are two lone pairs there are two lone pairs and two orbitals are half filled so these two lone pairs will push the remaining part of the molecule even closer so this part of the molecule becomes slightly compressed so this leads to decrease in bond angle in oxygen okay so uh, that is why the water molecule is said to be a bent molecule than the tetrahedral molecule right because they are bent like this so now if just imagine the orbital diagram for water there is this oxygen hydrogen sigma bond so this is our oxygen in its in its sp3 hybridized state where two hybrid orbitals are already completely filled so they will not be involved in the bond formation so who is remaining this and this so this will form a bond with this hydrogen 
and this will form a bond with this hydrogen so these will be two sigma bonds what will be the character sp3 of oxygen and s of hydrogen sp3 of oxygen and s of hydrogen so this is how the water molecule is going to be looking like now let's discuss sp2 hybrid orbitals now in sp2 hybrid orbitals as the name suggests 1s and 2p will be involved so just count this 1s and 2p they will form sp2 hybrid orbitals now in sp2 there are three blocks right 1 2 3 1 2 and 3 this is going to be our sp2 hybrid orbital and 2pz will be left unhybridized okay so in sp2 these three will be the hybrid orbitals and this 2pz is going to be the unhybridized one now uh, how we are going to draw it in our trigonal planar geometry we will draw it one two and three now imagine these two will be having the lone pairs and this one is having you know a um, single electron a single electron is here in this orbit now don't forget the 2pz which is unhybridized so it will be perpendicular to the plane of these three sp2 hybrid orbitals now when oxygen goes into sp2 hybrid um, uh, orbital formation so whenever it has to form only one bond or bond with one other atom then oxygen goes for sp2 hybridization this is sp2 hybrid orbital formation and oxygen goes for sp2 hybridization whenever it has to form bond with only one other atom like in formaldehyde now what is the structure of formaldehyde ch2 double bond o or hcho as we say so here you can see oxygen is only forming bond with carbon one other atom so oxygen will go for sp2 hybridization now look at carbon carbon is forming bond with three other atoms so carbon will also be, be in its sp2 hybrid form so whenever carbon is in its sp2 hybrid formation or hybridization it is like this trigonal planar oops sorry with the unhybridized p orbital 2pz this is our carbon and oxygen same so i will draw it like this oxygen one two and three of oxygen and this is the unhybridized 2pz for oxygen this is our carbon this is our oxygen so let's draw the bonds now now here carbon is bonding with two other hydrogens so this carbon will form two sigma bonds with hydrogen atoms forming sigma bonds here so what will be the bond character sp2 of carbon and s of hydrogen sp2 of carbon and s of hydrogen then this oxygen is not going to form bond with any other atom why because oxygen is already having completely filled orbitals these two only one orbital is half filled and that will be utilized to form a sigma bond with carbon so from these two bonds only one bond is going to be the sigma bond and the bond character for that bond is going to be sp2 of carbon and sp2 of oxygen and now let's talk about this pi bond which will be formed by lateral overlap of these 2pz of carbon and 2pz of oxygen so it is going to be a pi bond because there is no axial overlap it is a lateral overlap so this is how the orbital diagram for formaldehyde molecule will look where oxygen has formed only one bond or bond with only one other atom so whenever this is the situation it will go for sp2 now let me ask you just look at this configuration and tell me if we go for sp hybridization what is going to be the structure of sp hybrid orbitals this is going to be this so there will be two orbitals and both of them will be completely filled and no orbital is available to form the bond actually then why would oxygen go for sp hybridization no it will not so oxygen does not show sp hybridization it only goes for sp3 and sp2 hybridization i hope you have understood 
how the hybridization in oxygen actually works so thank you so much for watching keep watching be pharma wise i'll see you in the next video till then you take care bye bye